All right, we're doing fine. This is fine. One and a half hearts oh, while we are on level 39 and need to go 11 more levels to reach level 50 of the mine. This is totally fine, guys. I, I'm sure this is going to work out for our lovely Empress, Moss Feather, just fine. No need to panic and no need to run away from the bats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If we run into any kind of bats, we're going to be in so much trouble. But hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to Cattails, the Wildwood Story demo. <gasps> yes! Okay, how are we going to handle this? There's a rare cave cricket that I want to go ahead and catch. And then there's a bunch of shiny things that I really want the Empress to be able to collect. But hello and welcome back to Cattails, the Wildwoods story demo, where we're continuing to delve deeper into the mines and deeper into the demo to see just how far we can take Empress Mossfeather's story before we go ahead and change tactics by diving into the legends and lore of a creek in the original Cattails, who we are going to recreate the story for. Yes, so we were able to snag those without getting attacked by monsters. Oh my gosh! This may not be good! Oh, this really may not be good! Because there's like rats and things here, and rats, they hurt very badly to run into. So we might be in a little bit of trouble, friends. But all right, so let's see if we can make it to level 50 of the mines today. That's kind of the biggest goal that I have in mind. Oh, look how pretty that is. What on earth am I going to drop from the inventory? The quartz. Okay, the quartz is going to have to go. I can't believe I'm saying that. But we're going to drop a few pieces of quartz because we actually, oh, so help me. There's amethyst. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, dazzling purple crystals. Of course, we are going to be a shiny thing collecting cat who is going to adore all of those crystals. Why are there so many toxic, noxious fumes spewing out of hidden places in the ground now? We're going to need to avoid those. Oh, we're going to need to be so careful, friends. I wonder... I, I'm hoping maybe the green fumes heal you. I know that's not the case, but I could totally see how Curiosity could get this cat killed today because I'm kind of like eyeing up the green fumes like, oh, maybe it's okay to just go ahead and and poke at those. I'm sure this would be fine. All right, let's drop the silver ore so, so that we have a more room for amethyst. And I'm really wishing that we had gotten gotten the little bag expansion now now so that we could go ahead and actually have a little bit more room to put our treasures but we're just gonna have to accept life as we currently find it please i don't want to go over there that's where, where all the monsters are oh no and i think i have hiccups the noxious fumes oh no the noxious fumes are giving me hiccups okay deep breath siri for those of you guys who don't no, I actually get chronic hiccups, and when this happens, I need to go have a lie down and ha have my beloved husband Chips actually help me out, so we might have to have a moment where we're going to curl up in the caves. Can I get us out of the mines? This is ridiculous. I can't believe the noxious fumes are giving me hiccups in the mines. I'm never going to be able to... Oh, th thank goodness! I'm never going to be able to look at this place the same again. Oh, there's so so many shiny things okay and then i'm gonna need to to let's get out of here so that we're able to go ahead and, and not end up breathing in too many of these toxic fumes and then let me catch my breath oh my gosh yeah there we go all right now that we are away from those noxious fumes and also the, the hiccups that they gave us we can go ahead and see are we gonna make it the last nine levels of the mine Oh my word, we need to stay away from the evil little demon bugs. I love the fact that I don't really know what these guys are called. Is there actually a list for the different hostile creatures? <gasps> a dark candle! There is a list for the different hostile creatures! The sickly flies burn with a pale cold fire found in the mines. And then the voidling cat. Oh, an unfriendly shadow in the form of a cat. I didn't know that's what they were called. This whole time I've just been calling them shadow cats. Oh dear. All right, we're gonna get away from that thing. What's kind of helpful and what I kind of like is the fact that this very much is 
a sort of like wild experience between prey and predator where sometimes if we we are the prey and we are running away as fast as our paws can possibly take us uh then we're actually able okay let's go ahead and drop oh i hate to like drop so many of our shiny quartz i mean look at the way they glitter that would look amazing in our den and decorated all over our town just saying but uh there we go. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> but when we become prey, I kind of love that if we get out of the way and we run just like the prey runs when we find it, then we're actually able to go ahead and like lose the predator. Just like when the prey runs from us and they lose us because we're like, I don't know. No, bat, bad bat, bad bat. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Not all my treasure, no! Crampy, don't tell me, don't tell me it's so, no! I'm not gonna emotionally recover from this. I am not going to emotionally recover from this. No, 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 no! <laughs> all of the cool things I found. Not my portobello. Not my rabbit. Oh my gosh. Four amethyst, 13 quartz, 12. I, I feel like I have tears in my eyes right now. I, I can't believe that happened. Perhaps it was my hubris to imagine that we were strong enough to go to to uh, frolic about in the mines and to go be able to, to like make ourselves abundantly rich. We had so much, friends. We had so much that could have been ours. And now we have we have not. We have a common sea bass. Like what is that saying about a sea bass? It, it could be a C plus or something like that. At least it's not a C plus. Oh my word. Ah, and here we find ourselves on the surface. I feel, I feel humbled. Apparently we need a lot more of the gold seal than I realized. We're gonna need to be able to like have a lot more healing items. Sure, we still have a bunch of topaz and one of our amethyst. We lost a few cave crickets, but we get to keep some of the others. But we were so close and the, honestly, that was some of the most fun that I have had as Empress is diving deeper into those mines and kind of getting a glimpse of what is hiding out there. A, a glimpse of all of the shiny treasures that could be ours. And now I don't know how I feel. Like, what do I do? What is the thing that could make us the most muse to just like go down with a ton of golden seal? Don't even try me today, crab. Don't even try me. Let's see, here's a whorl, which we have learned some of the cats seem to enjoy. Oh no you don't. Like, look, I'm really not in the mood anymore, buddy. So, yeah, I mean, do we just collect a whole bunch of the healing herbs? And then try for the mines once we become stronger? I wish so badly that hadn't happened, because now all of our treasure, the treasure that was getting shinier and sparklier, in fact, is there like a collection for the treasure we were collecting? Insects, miscellaneous. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, five more potential treasures we could find in the mines. The dazzling purple crystals. We found five and I only have one because of those dumb bats. I think that bats are now eternally one of the things that her royal majesty, Empress Mossfeather, despises because they have taken from her too much that crossed some lines, okay? Those were our shiny things. But that's okay, because those are the moments where we learn something new about Moss Feather. The fact that she really, really, really despises bats. Also, that we need to take a lot more healing items down into the mines to be properly successful at it. Can I eat this? I cannot eat this crib. Um, I can eat these frogs, though. And we probably could have used a little bit more food in the mines 
Uh, it ended up working out okay for us. Oh, we scared away the rabbit. What, what actually does show up here as prey that we can find here in... Ah, oh, missed it. Here in the volcano, because I feel like the volcano is another area that I don't really expect. What is that butterfly doing over there? They don't really expect to find a lot of prey and a lot of items. And yet, I would be wrong because there's like a frog. Oh, there's a lizard. Yeet! All right, got the lizard. I guess if it was basking around the place, it would be a little bit of an easy catch. All right, there is some marigold here. Or not marigold. Is that? Yeah, that's marigold. There is a little mouse over there that we'll go ahead and hunt. Or I would if we hadn't just spooked it. Is it going to come this way again? Oop. Well. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> come on. We need this mouse for the mouse house. Okay, I got it. Oh, thank goodness. Is that even a mouse? It's a vole, for crying out loud. Whatever. Maybe we can give it to garlic, and garlic will appreciate the effort. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just startling everything over here. But Robin's voles, I saw a bunny, and there's a few marigolds, but I didn't really expect a lot of plants to be growing at the volcano. The Grim Clearing? Do we have a lot of things at the Grim Clearing we can collect? We don't come out here very often. Okay, Golden Seal... You know what? Maybe we have a whole bunch. <gasps> Maybe we have a ton of stuff that we can actually collect over in. There's a big old rat. Nobody likes the rats when we gave them the rats, though. But maybe we have a bunch of stuff we can actually collect inside of storage that I have forgotten about that we can actually dig out. All right. And this pigeon. Yes. OK, we caught the pigeon, which is good. Pigeon is good because I know I think flaw. Laney, I think Laney actually is collecting pigeons. Also, can, oh man, okay, so this stone isn't activated, but we have indeed found another one of the standing stones that might potentially give us some goods. Dang it, I really wanted to be able to hunt that rabbit. You gotta be a little bit more patient. Oh, go, 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 go. Rabbit's distracted. Ah! Okay, maybe Bunny will come back. That's one way to like try to hunt. You cannot sneak while swimming. That's fine. Oh, -ho! dang it. All right, I need to be a little bit more careful with our hunts. I'm trying from too far away because I'm just kind of desperate at the moment. Oh, our inventory is full. All right, well, we'll head back home. We now have some abundance of items and I feel a little bit better. And let's actually go check our store. Really? Not in the mood. How dare you hide my rabbit from me? Can I catch this bunny? Oh, I got the bunny. Except I need to clear my inventory out. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to eat my precious golden seal anyway. All right. Out you go. Out you go. Out you go. Get out of here. There. Huh. Only one mew from that, but that's all right. All right. Well, we need to use our golden seal anyway. And now I probably need to go back to Crampy to get healed. And he's going to be like, didn't I just see you? Yes, Crampy. I know. All right. Let's see. South foothills. Any other plants? I'm out of room. For a lot but i want to try to collect more plants and we'll go check don't need valerian we need more golden steel we'll go check our storage and maybe we have enough stuff in storage that we can become a super rich cat just covered in all sorts of wonders all right, what do we have in storage? <gasps> I forgot how cool our house is. Oh, this made me feel immediately better. Plants make everything better. All right, so let's actually come in and we're going to drop some of my favorite treasures. Can I, can I not hold? Interesting, let's see. Cave coral, turrets, whirl, quartz. Ah, there we go. But we'll drop some of my favorite treasures like the amethyst and some of the other sparkly things. Topaz, there we go. And clearly we are trying to work on making a absolutely beautiful and stunning display. 
And then we'll go ahead and drop some of these. I actually love the quartz crystal. I think that it's really probably my favorite. The topaz is nice, but the quartz crystal just makes me super happy. In fact, I think I might pick up some of the topaz. All right, so let's grab some of this topaz and some of that topaz. There we go. Look at all my shiny things. It could have been a lot more shiny things, but we're not going to dwell on that. And in fact, Mulby, Mulby, my man, let us go ahead and we're going to expand the, the style of our cave so that I feel better about life. Let's see. Is, do I have enough muse for that? 120 muse! <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because we're totally going to act casual. We're not going to pretend like that's a lot for the Empress to pay because we're the Empress. You know what I mean? But that was a lot for the Empress to pay. Just going to be honest with you, you guys. But look at this. We now have a nice little expanded den for our little cave that we've got. And we can put down some of the furniture by coming over into the cave. And now we can have some of the cool crystals. Like all of these beautiful crystals that we can decorate. Let's see, it looks like right there. And then I'll put another one down here. And there's a whole bunch of different types, which I think is quite fun. So we'll put a big one down there. And then another one right over here. We already have some of the other things like sparkling and just waiting for us. <gasps> That's so pretty. Okay, that makes me very happy. And oh, there's even crystal lamps. <gasps> I had no idea. I didn't know that there was like a little crystal lamp. All right, we're gonna put the crystal lamp over there. And then let me put away that. And then I'm gonna put away, whoops, that rock. And we'll move that into the corner. Lovely, lovely. And then let's see how that looks. Now that we have gone ahead. Yay, look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I love this room. And I, I think our amethyst had to be put into storage because of how that setup worked out. Let's put a few of the quartz away. And then I've, I'm just gonna sell these crabs. And look, we do have a ton of marigold. Well, a ton in quotation marks, but we do have a ton of marigold. So maybe at some near point in the future, we will be able to prove the wonders of Her Royal Majesty by going ahead, oh, and we'll go ahead and either sell or give away those white cave crickets. I'm gonna leave all of the healing herbs in here and then uh, I'll sell the frogs. I can always get more frogs. Uh, and let's see, I'm gonna leave one of our lovely tropical butterflies, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the other butterflies and I'll leave some of those and I'm gonna get out, yeah, the amethyst. Okay, so I think I'll sell and give away everything else except my portobello! You can bet this sucker is going to become one adorable little indoor mushroom garden. Ta-da! Okay, that made me feel a lot better. Being able to go ahead and create a, a glittering cave crystal, uh, like, room for our royal empress. I'm constantly amazed at how these kinds of little details are making cattails such a fantastic experience for me. It, but it truly is just where I drop stuff. <laughs> it's the simplest thing in the world. And yet it is something that makes me so ridiculously happy. And Buttercup, speaking of making me happy, let's go ahead and grab this mouse and let's actually... There! Look, Buttercup is feeling better. Okay, meanwhile, all the cats are going to be distracted because we're kind of like beaten up around the edges, but still. All right, so let's sell some of these items. We're going to go ahead and sell all these butterflies. I'm going to sell all the valerian and the coral and the crabs. And so it looks like Topaz actually nets us 44, or in this case, we'll keep one to give away as a gift. Uh, yeah, we'll keep a couple of those. Good. All right. So actually, we do get a little bit of a haul for bringing out some of the... I'm gonna sell two of the frogs and I'll sell two of the lizards for bringing out some of the gemstones and giving them to Ember. So that's good to know. And then Ember, do you have anything I really, really, really want right now? There's the shiny trinket. 
I want that drying. Oh, the modest pockets. That's right. We're saving up for modest pockets. I remember now. But all right, so let's wrap up by going ahead and possibly giving a vol to garlic to see if that makes garlic happy. Oh, you look kind of beat up. I know how that feels. You'll get used to it. Garlic! You don't want to hang on to it? Okay, so garlic enjoys voles and other rodents. That's good to know. And do I have anything else rare? I do have the uncommon cave cricket. Let's go give that to Spark. And then I feel like we will have done our due diligence for all the cats today. Well, Moss Feather, you're getting a little beat up. Did you get into a huge battle? That sounds awesome. I want to hear all about it. Look, Spark, that's sweet, but I really don't want to relive my failure with a bunch of bats just right now. Oh, okay. So Spark actually does not like the uh, cave crickets. Got it. You know what, Ember? I'm going to be real with you. I don't think anybody else. If your son doesn't like the cave cricket, I'm just going to be honest. I don't think anybody's going to be into it. Oof. Okay. So I think now I am pretty content with things. And next time I do want to try to get further. Oh, Jag. I knew I was saving these for a reason. You haven't been taking care of your health, have you, kid? That's irresponsible. There's an entire kingdom that's counting on you. No, no, no Like, look, it's okay. Fine. I'll go see Crampy first. But first I want to give you this topaz. You really didn't have to, Moss Feather. Thanks. Yay! Okay, I knew I was keeping these for another reason. But ta-da! We can start decorating around Jazz. And then Ellie, I've got, like, well, I've got a bird over here for Ellie. Oh, you know what? It does make me happy just to be able to make everybody, like, content and give them things that I know will help them thrive. Oh, Moss Feather, it's not good to see you this way. You really should do something about those nasty injuries. Rest up and come back when you're healthy. Thank you, Ellie. Why don't we go ahead and give you this little thrush? I've been wanting one of these for ages. I really owe you, Moss Feather. <gasps> and Ellie's so happy about that bird. Yay! All right. I think we might need to do a little bit of hunting just to make sure we have enough food. Let's come over. Crampy. All right. Lay it on me. I need a good healing. 17 Muse is not that bad. Thank you. And then next time we will gather up some food and potentially see if now is the time to go deeper into the mines. I just really want to know what's down there. And I think just digging in deeper and deeper to legends and lore is a great way to go ahead and get ready for uh, taking a break and surrounding ourselves with shiny things and then learning the legends of Creek. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our Empress Moss Feather. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.